How's it going ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ruffle Drowlet and welcome back to another video. Today guys, we are going to be counting down another top 5 ROM hacks slash fan games of the week. But today we're only doing ROM hacks, I kind of mentioned fan games there because that's what we usually do in this series. This is a series where each week or so, we count down 5 ROM hacks or fan games that are worth playing if you have the time for it. Of course, some of these games are going to be well-known games, and some are not going to be, you know, not as well-known and kind of unfamiliar, and some even very old ones and some very new ones, depending on each video. It's all different each video, so please understand that sometimes I may list games that are newer, sometimes I may list games that are older, and sometimes I may bring the game, like a certain game up twice, if I think it still deserves a bit more attention. So please understand that. Today we're going to be counting down five ROM hacks, and to play ROM hacks you need a Visual Boy a uh, Visual Boy Advanced emulator or one of the other ones, the GBA emulators. So you will be needing a Game Boy Advanced emulator to play these. And then you can just go to the links down below and download them. Some of these links will lead you to websites that are not like Poker Community or websites where you can normally get them, you know, 100% from the creator. Some of these games are not listed on those websites anymore. They don't have forum posts. So please understand that. Either way, I've been holding you off for way too long. Let's get right into this countdown with number five. Number five. And coming in first is going to be Pokemon Moon Emerald, a game that has been getting a lot of attention lately and has been played by several YouTubers. And I'm going to be doing a video on this game very soon myself, maybe even a Let's Play, depending on what the response is from the viewers. Either way, Pokemon Moon Emerald was made right after Sun and Moon were kind of created, as people were creating sprites for Pokemon. Pre the previous Pokemon games, rather. So they were making, like, basically Gen 3, Gen 4, Gen 5 sprites for the, you know, previous generations. So you can use them in ROM hacks and fan games because they w there weren't any other options like that from Pokemon themselves because they moved over to the 3D style. But people had made these, and this is one of the first games that I remember I could be, I actually saw that utilized this the first. So this game has Litten, Rallon, and Poplia as its starters, which is really awesome, and also has 60 Pokemon from the seventh generation of Pokemon, which means that also includes a lot of forms in there and just a bunch of things. So a lot of forms are in this game as well, and it is taking place in the, you know, Kanto, no, sorry, the Hoenn region. That's where the game actually takes place. And what they do is they take Ruby and, uh, you know, Ruby and Sapphire and they remake them into, you know, these different games with pretty much the same plot, I'd say, but with different, you know, Pokemon and whatnot. Now, the fairy typing was also add and something I think is really cool is they changed out uh, Groudon, Kyogre and Rayquaza for Lunala, Solgaleo for Magurna as well. So basically they switched out the main legendaries for those and also in Morval City and Lilikope City they're now selling evolution stones because they do also have mega evolutions of course and all the evolution forms or evolutions for Eevee and the gym leaders will have six Pokemon in their party while the elite four use mega evolutions. There's a day and night system and many more things as mentioned in their features list. So that is basically the features of this game. It's of course going to be screenshots and whatnot on the screen so you guys can kind of see how the game looks like. It is pretty cool if I'm going to be honest. And I like the fact that they included like, you know, the Alola forms as well as the actual Pokemon from the 7th generation new ones. So it's pretty lit. I like that. I think it's awesome. But now let's go over to the next one on the list, lads, with number 4. Number 4. Next up is a pretty handy little game called Pokemon Resolute Version. And Pokemon Resolute Version is a game that is looking really, really nice. Now, I do not know how much the development has continued on this game. I remember that it does have currently a a version out that is working and there is kind of an update to it once in a while. Uh, I think the last one was in April, but I don't know if it's still in like hardcore development. Um, but as far as I know, I think it is supposed to be finished to some extent. Like, I think it is finished, but there are still things to need to be added. So, Pokemon Resolute version should be essentially a finished game. So, yes, I am currently recommending you a finished game. This is supposed to be a finished game, but we'll see, and I'm not sure if it really is full-on finished, unless there is, like, something in the end game that has not been completed. But overall, it is considered to be finished. Pokemon Salute version is awesome, and here's the things that are actually interesting about it. They have new regions and new gyms, of course, which is great, but the new regions are two new ones, and, of course, also Johto is added in here. So you have the Cylon, the Tyron, and Johto regions. Like, those are the regions in this game. The battle department, a place where trainers from all over the world go to battle, uh, also is included in this. 
some 4th gen Pokemon and 5th gen Pokemon, about 33 Pokemon of the 6th generation are also in this. Some new tiles, maybe a bit rough, not easy to draw them, is basically what they explain here by the features. And they have Mega Evolutions, and Alolan Vulpix, and Alolan Ninetales. So I guess this is the part where I was kind of saying that, you know, some things may be missing, and that's what I'm kind of talking about. They haven't added in all the Alola forms or all the Mega Evolutions. Some are missing, I feel like, uh, but I'm not sure how many or, you know, how many or how many would be, you know, needed to complete the full game, you know, with all of them in there. But for now, I'd say that the game is, generally speaking, completed. The actual game itself is completed. Anything else that is added is kind of extra stuff. And the game looks beautiful, by the way. It is a ROM hack, but it looks freaking fantastic. And the freaking, like, the actual characters you play as are freaking awesome. I love them. And I really want to play through this full game, like, in a full playthrough. It's just that I currently have not had the time, so I hope you guys understand. Either way, let's go to the next one on the list, lads. Number three. Now, coming up next is going to be another completed Pokemon ROM hack, and this one is called Pokemon Shiny Gold Sigma. Now, Shiny Gold Sigma has been in development, like, been in development for quite a long time, but it is finished as of the current time being. It is a finished game, so you can play it, but there are still things being added. It's currently at its patch version 12.8. This is a very long game, by the way. It's been completed you know, pretty decently, and it's a pretty long game to actually, you know, get through, but it is out there, you guys can go download it, Pokemon Shiny Gold Sigma, and we're gonna go through all the features, and there's so many here, but I want to list as many as possible, so either way, a new revolutionary game that improves the JoJo region, add an encounter region, plus a special section with the Orange uh, Archipelago, which I guess is just the Orange Island, I assume, Battle Frontier, and a bit of Hoenn, complete and working with 100% functional, you know, functions and all these things, among major improvements, including more than 880 Pokemon, Gen, Gen 1, Gen 2, Gen 3, Gen 4, Gen 5, Gen 6, Gen 7, so they have added in also the legendaries from the Alola region, and the Alola Worms, and you can catch all of these, in this game, and you play through Johto, and then Kanto, and then parts of different things, and then a bit of Hoenn as well, which is awesome. Mega Evolutions are available, which is great. New evolution Evolutionary Stones are also included uh, for Cable Link, Metal Code, King's Rock, and all these extra things, you know, ways we may, may have to, you know, trade your Pokemon. You can instead evolve them with specific stones. Either way, Battle Pyramid, Battle Castle, uh, Battle Pike, Battle Palace, Battle Arena, Battle Doom, and Battle Factory available. Holy crap, dude. New effects added, like an entrance into a new pl place, Ash Grass, High Grass, Micrograss, competitive stuff available, colored stats, IV and EV suggestions, be able to rightfully fly everywhere, which is awesome, leaders offer rematch in Johto, Kanto, Orange Islands, which is awesome, so yeah, it is Orange Islands, badges are crystal order and colored, okay, that's fine, improved graphics and colors and uh, elegant, like just, you know, color matches, which is great, new music set list, new Pokemon eggs and events, just so many things, I can't even get through all of this, like, there's so many crazy things in this, we get exclusive Pokemon, Pokemon like Pichu, Spike Ear, or Crystal Onyx. Like, you can get these exclusive Pokemon as well in this, which is just ridiculous. New rivals accorded to the manga and games. Okay. Uh, new Pokemon icons, new trades, bicycle fixing, new improvements from the black and white style. Holy crap, do you understand what I kind of mean? This game is jam-packed with features. Like, just reading through all this, it is insane how much there is in this. And I, in some time in the future, I would love to play through this whole thing. It is humongous. And that is a reference to H3H3. H3. Either way, my point is, like, there's so much stuff in this game, and I definitely want to play through it one day, guys. So if you're looking for a long playthrough, this is the game for you. This is the perfect game for you. Just download it and just play through it. I definitely would recommend it. Like, seriously, do it if you're looking for a great game, because this is a great game. Either way, let's go to the number two spot on this list. Number two. Now, come on, next on the list is going to be Pokemon Giratina Strikes Back. Now, I do think that Shiny Gold Sigma actually is a generally uh, more completed and better game to play, but this video isn't really based in any specific order, so don't take anything I say here in a specific order. I don't think this game is better than the last game. I think all these games are great. I'm, well, otherwise, I wouldn't be listing them in this video. Like, I think they're all great. Either way, some features of Pokemon Giratina Strikes Back. I've actually played this game, and it's on my channel if you guys want to check it out. Either way, you have Eevee as your starter in this game, and Eevee evolves into Espeon and Umbreon, uh, with a Sunstone or a Moonstone, respectively. Uh, also, Evolution Stones can be purchased, uh, purchased at large marts in Dryliatown, 
whereas the second gym is located. So the game is pretty well completed. There is a pretty, pretty lengthy demo you can play. Uh, the game is going to have 11 gyms. Uh, it has 65 well-drawn Fakemon, which is what they claim here. Um, I could say that, yeah, the game looks pretty pretty darn good for a ROM hack. Remember, this is a ROM hack still, so it's pretty good. Uh, they have a fancy new story, which, yes, that they, they have that as well. And also, this I have to agree with, fancy new tiles. The tile set is really crisp in this game. Like, it seriously is. It is awesome. Uh, they have run-in doors, which really isn't anything special. You know, I've seen this in most games nowadays. It's kind of obvious. Rock Smash does 60 damage now, so it isn't completely useless. Don't know why I would do that, but hey, thank you. You meet actual made Rock Smash a useful move. Slightly. I don't know. It's, it's okay. I, I like it. So uh, either way, <laughs> my point is, this game is jam-packed with stuff as well, though not as much as the previous game on the list, but it is a game that has a aesthetically really nice looking style to it, which I think is lovely. And the story is a bit intriguing. Like, I played through like one showcase of it and you guys probably maybe you may have watched that aren't I but in that showcase I can definitely like confirm that this game is really good and it's interesting and I would definitely recommend you guys to try it out either way let's go to the final game on this countdown on the number one spot really doesn't matter which one it is but you know whichever spot it is but either way let's get right into it number one and finally on the list guys is going to be Pokemon Lunar and Pokemon Lunar is a crazy looking game that I think has some of the coolest like just Colors in it like the colors in this game in this ROM hack actually are just amazing. It's just Honestly so amazing. I love them and that's why I wanted to feature it here So this game has a really cool looking tile set I think it's lovely really colorful and the features in it are you know Pretty, pretty hefty, pretty nice. So, a whole new region to explore, of course. The Tagral region is known for its various climates. You can see climates from tropical to snowy. New mechanics, a physical slash special split. Of course, we see this in a lot of games as well. Fairy type is in. You gain XP points when you catch Pokemon. And also, the black and white repel system, which is awesome. Uh, Hidden Grotto makes it uh, makes its appearance too, which is great. It is a narrow path. Let's follow it. New Pokemon, uh, which is always good. So, new Pokemon means, if I if I understand what they mean here by new Pokemon, that would mean like Fakemon, which I'm a huge fan of. I know a lot of people don't like really, you know, Fakemon or whatnot. I think they're great, but, you know, some people don't. Uh, you also get to meet, like, specific new characters. Uh, you get to meet Cynthia and whatnot. Um, you know, of course, big characters in the Pokemon, you know, universe and whatnot and stuff like that. You have Mega Evolutions, which is great, and so many more things that are just included in this game. I think the reason I put it right here on this list is because of its aesthetics. Like, it just looks really nice. It's just, that, that part right there is what I think I fell for the most, is that it just looks so aesthetically pleasing, and I like the main character and like the protagonist and how he looks like so that's why i put him on here but either way it's a game that i would definitely look out like look out for i'm gonna be doing a video on pokemon luna soon so keep your eyes out for that uh it's gonna be doing a showcase on it so we'll see how the actual game is once we get our hands on it like hands on and play it but uh, the game seems to be in its pre-alpha at the moment so if you want to play it definitely go and download it. it's gonna be a link down below either way thank you guys so much for watching the video hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did then drop a like down below and i'll see you all in the next video of course and uh, again thank you guys so much so much for watching these videos it really does help out these videos are always fun to do and you guys enjoy them a lot I, I know the support on these videos tends to be awesome so thank you so much for that if you guys want to see more of this then you know please subscribe it really would be appreciated we're closing up you know on the sub count and it's really nice so thank you so much for that lads either way thank you so much for today i'll catch you all the next time peace out of a great day and bye bye <laughs>